Okay, Mary, what's in the box? Godzilla. There's a Godzilla in the box? Yeah. Is it always Godzilla's in the box? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can turn this, turn this off. You turn that off with the remote? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. That remote's not for that camera. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. That remote is for the party lights we have. <gasps> Whoa! I know. We'll get those in a minute and show everyone those and let you play with the remote, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, what we have in here, I hope it's what I think it should be. It is what it should be. Uh, uh, what is this? Monkey. Monkey sticker. Ah. You get the monkey sticker? Mm -hmm. So what is this? I don't know. You don't know. Well, you're going to find out this week. This is a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. It includes all the games. Looks like we have some sort of French or Spanish what? version this of this thing, off. too. Uh -huh. That fell off? Uh -huh. We don't want that falling off. No, no. This, this open. This is open. Yeah, oh, it's open. Close it. She found an open paint can. It's one of these craft paint, so you know, I'm, I'm about done with those. All right. We'll talk about that in another video. So let's open this. Let's see what you get in your Super Nintendo Classic Edition. I wanted the NES Classic Edition, but Nintendo decided to only make like 10,000 of those things or something ridiculous small number. And they were really hard to get. They made 10 times the number of these, and they're still really hard to get. I think it's because people like the old games. They were good, and this promises to have a HDMI connection which means it should look halfway decent on a TV. Now, that's not going to look beautiful. It can't. It's Super Nintendo. It won't compare to today's games, but we don't want it to, right? Let's see what's in the box. Well, the first thing you get is you get a direction guide. Okay. There's a direction book. And the Miri is going to help us. Right, Miri? Uh-huh. Get this. You're going to get that out? Uh -huh. Got it. So open it, silly. Look, look. What is that? I don't know. You don't know? That is a game controller. Now look, this is using the uh, same connector that the Nintendo Wii was using between the nunchuck and the handheld unit. Okay? So, <coughs> your old Super Nintendo controllers will not work with this. It fell off? It's okay, we'll get it in a minute, okay? This is the game unit itself. It is tiny. Okay. It has an eject button that doesn't work. It has... I don't even know where the controllers connect to this thing. There's no way those controllers connect there. Oh, it's a cover. It's a cover. You open it and you plug the controllers in. That way it can look like it. I'll let you see it in a minute, okay? HDMI connector. It's powered by USB. Oh, that's really nice to know because if it's really powered by a USB connector and you have a big enough battery, yeah, you see where I'm going with this? If you have an HDMI input on a laptop and a big enough battery, you could connect this and play this on a laptop. The Mary, Mary wants to see it. Let's get the box set aside. Some of you are probably thinking, you fool, sell it on eBay. I almost bought two of them. I got this for online. Some of you saw the monkey sticker. That's from thinkgeek.com. And at the time I got it, I also had one reserved on GameStop. This is mine. Is that yours? You're going to play with Papa? Yeah. And GameStop, and both ThinkGeek and GameStop just crashed offhand. Yeah, it is a micro USB connector. So you can power this anywhere these days. Car, plug... If you've got a, car, a video system in the car that has an HDMI input, and we do, you can play this in the car as you're driving on a long vacation. That is a bonus. It comes with a wall wart, and it is... Oh, I can't see. My eyes that are no good. Yours. That one's for me? Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to play with this later, this weekend? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, output is 1.5 amps. Made Papa, in China. Papa, yeah. Did you dinosaur bulk? 
Oh, my dinosaur needs to be finished. She's not broke. And it does have a Nintendo name on it. So this is an official <laughs> Nintendo yeah, one. Yeah, he broke. He broke? Yeah. I should fix the dinosaur. I want to see him. You have to wait a little bit. Okay. okay. He's really high. It's very high so you don't break it. It does come with an HDMI cable. So it is ready for most modern TVs. And it comes it's with two controllers. Thing. Now one of the things I heard complaints about with these controllers is, and we're going to find out in a second, and I'm almost willing to bet they didn't correct some of the complaints off the old NES edition. And Miri's figured out how to open the front port on this thing already. Let's see if we can back this up and we can see Miri playing around here too. Okay? There is no restart button. This is literally the old Super Nintendo controller. Literally. Okay? The cable is about three feet long, so you got to be sitting pretty close to that thing. It's got a short HDMI cable on it, so if your TV is halfway across the room, you can't do this. you got to be up next to that TV to do this. I bought some extension cables so that the thing can be kind of far away. Yeah, you paint there? Yeah. Yeah, but don't break this, okay? Okay. So you can be kind of far away, but you can't be too far away. Yeah, you can eat the book. It's broke? Nope. Nope. You'll fix him. I'll fix him eventually when I get some time. Okay, I want to okay. see him. You want to see him? Uh huh. Okay, I'll get him in a minute. Well, anyhow, what I'm saying is you've got to keep pretty close to the TV with the setup the way it is. The reset button. Huh? He be like that? Yeah. Well, let's see if he's like that. Did you see that dinosaur? I see that dinosaur. And some people in here were like, please finish that he dinosaur. He go broke. Look at that mouth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I had the mouth kind of painted. I just had to touch that mouth up and paint the teeth. The mouth was almost where I wanted it. Okay. No, he is not a toy. Okay. I, okay. I got stuck on the tail. The tail texturing did not come out the way I wanted and I life got away him. from me. I want to see him. <coughs> so I got stuck on him. <laughs> he's huge. <laughs> him eyes are gone. It's because his eyes need to be painted. Uh-huh. Okay, silly? Okay. Anyhow, life got away from me on this one. This would be the easiest model for me to pick up, honestly, because I just got to fix the tail <laughs> seam. No, this one's Papa's. <laughs> I just got to fix the tail joint on it and uh, the little seam line that exists on the tail in a few places near the end. So the dinosaur doesn't take much. He's going back up here, Mary. He's not a toy, so he stays up here, okay? Okay, paint him eyes. Yeah, I have to paint his eyes. I have to have time to paint his eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting back to the Nintendo, off our distractions from the three-year-old. What I keep trying to say is you have to play close to the TV. And that is the biggest downfall. They should have had a reset button on one of the controllers. No, nope, it plugs in here. It plugs in there. So she's going to go through the setup for us. Now I'm going to check uh, YouTube and their copyright notice, and we'll find out what the copyright Open rules mine. are Open for mine. playing, showing video. Open mine. Okay. Open mine. So we can see what the video on this thing is like. And if the copyright is okay, I'm going to put take some video and show you guys what the gameplay looks like. Because that's what most people want. I have a Super Nintendo. I have a lot of the games that are on that box still. My problem is, what is it going to look like on the TV? Because these old retro games tend not to look good on the modern TVs. Because they were never designed for the resolution of that TV. I think that's why this has such a high demand. Because you open it has mine. HDMI out on it, and with HDMI out on it, you get the full resolution of the TV. Okay? It doesn't mean this is going to be high res. This doesn't mean they've cleaned it up. They probably cleaned the graphics up a little to look okay on the HDMI. But it's at its heart, it's a Super Nintendo. You're going to get those old graphics you had on Can the Super Nintendo, which wasn't all that great. In a second, Mary. Okay? Now let's take a look at the back of the box. We're going to let everyone see this first and then you get it, okay? Okay. If we look, there's the video quality you get. It's not outstanding, but it's not poor either. It's Super Nintendo. 
okay? And, you know, my favorite games on here, Super Mario World. I love that game. I played uh, Paper Mario, I think, on this thing. Not sure. But it's there. Mario RPG. Zelda, I definitely played. Loved Firefox. Yoshi's Island, I love. Super Mario Kart, of course. Final Fantasy III. Super Metroid. F-Zero, I played a lot. Super Goals and, Goals and Ghosts. I was surprised to see that one on here, because that's notorious as one of the meanest games ever. And it is a good game. Uh, Mega Man, I've been dying to play Mega Man. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, those are the ones I played. F Zero Two is new. Ca Contra, I never really played on the Super Nintendo. The Kirby, two Kirby games, I never played. Earthbound, I never played. Uh, Castlevania, I looked at a few times. Punch, what is that? Super Punch Out, yeah, that's going to be some fun. Okay. So there are some games on here that are just going to be fun for people to play. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping some of these are two-player. All right. Yes, you hear the sniffles. I do have something of a sinus infection. Well, anyhow, there you go. There's a look at what's in the box. I'm going to go check YouTube's rules. If I can put up video, I'll put up video of gameplay. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll talk to you later.